everyone. Thanks for stopping back. It's Ashley. Okay, this video I want to go through my uh, weekly melting basket, which is like a melting box, but <laughs> um, these are ones that I have used this week but haven't finished completely. And then I want to go through my empties, which I have a good bit in here this week. Um, my YouTube channel is relatively new, so I wanted to, uh, I knew I wanted to do this a couple of weeks ago, so I just let my empties build up for, I think I started keeping them last Thursday or Friday to this most recent Thursday, Friday, somewhere around there. So I want to do a melting basket and empties every week, so I'm going to try to do it from Friday to Friday and then, you know, post that weekend. I do work during the week, so I don't know how much I'll be filming after work um, for uh, wax-related stuff. I guess I'll see how it goes. Um, I also wanted to say I might, um, I do use Bath & Body Works body products, mostly their shower uh, gels and moisturizing body creams and such like that. Um, I will probably be just throwing a random one in here here or there when I finish it up, and also their soap and wallflowers. As I said in a previous video, I have used exclusively their products for a long time, so I do have stuff that I still use of theirs. Uh, soap and wallflowers are probably my favorite, um, followed by body wash. Um, the skincare, the creams and lotions, I do use those too. I don't use them all the time, so I don't know how much I will be reviewing those. And um, all right, I think let's do my melting basket first, um, just because I have more of the empties. I'd like to get through uh, what I've used this week but haven't finished all of. Okay, let's start here. Asylum. Um, also, I'm trying different filming locations in my house, so uh, if it's a different area every time, I'm just testing it out here because, you know, I am new. All right, uh, this first one. L3 Waxy Wonders Asylum. Asylum's notes are Sweater Weather, Vanilla Bean Noel, and Cranberry. Now, I love cranberry. Anything cranberry in it. Cranberry is such a strong, beautiful, bold scent. And it just makes me feel homey and comforted and such. Um, and then uh, this uh, Sweater Weather also. I do not like Sweater Weather on my body. I like sweater weather in my home. Candles, wax, nothing that goes on the body. I feel it takes a different, uh, it smells different, the formulation for body care than the home care that the, the, you know, the home scent does. So that's just my little side note opinion. Um, anyways, this is cranberry sweater weather. Um, cranberry is the most dominant note in this one, followed by sweater weather. It doesn't have that strong, unique smell that sweater weather has. This is definitely cranberry sweater weather. I don't get any of the vanilla bean Noel, but you know, vanilla bean Noel is probably just used to sweeten it a little bit, not necessarily give it a smell, in my opinion. Okay, next we have. Let's keep with the. Let's keep with the L3 just because I have a good bit of those in here. Uh, Jen is one of my favorite vendors, L3. I have ordered from her for a while. Um, I have my favorite vendors out there. Um, you'll figure them out along the way as you go. <laughs> okay, uh, next one for L3 is Zucchini Bread White Elephant Exchange. And you do know that I love zucchini bread smells. Uh, White Elephant Exchange is different for me because it's, mm, I love this one. It's just a straight, White Elephant Exchange is just a straight vanilla. In fact, it's powdered donuts, vanilla wafers, white cake, vanilla frosting. Um, I'm not a straight vanilla person. I want more than just vanilla in my sense. I find that the uh, White Elephant Exchange it just tones down the zucchini bread a little bit. This is just zucchini bread to me with a little bit not as spicy and strong. Um, I would order this again just because it's a different type of zucchini bread that isn't the traditional zucchini bread, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, White Elephant Exchange, I had it on its own and it was nothing special to me, but I know it's one of their most popular blends and it's blended in with a lot of stuff all the time. So maybe in the future I'll have to give it a try again. I'm just not chomping at the bit to buy White Elephant Exchange on its own. But this one is a nice one. If you want a little 
bit less spicy and less strong zucchini bread. Give this one a try. Next, we have a Season of the Witch. This is leaves and apples. And I love leaves. It's that quintessential Bath and Body Works fall smell. Leaves. And I can't remember all the notes of leaves. I know it has apple nectar. And I can't remember all the other ones. I'm sorry. But if you've smelled it, you know what it smells like. And this is just extra apple that's mixed into leaves. And this is beautiful. It's strong. It's nice. It's just that nice, cool, crisp fall smell day scent in my opinion. I do have another bakery bag of this and I've also finished up a puppy pack, a mini a mini baby loaf, the, the um, bitty bitties of Jen's and I would buy this again absolutely definitely. That is a favorite. Another L3 we have ooh, watermelon spin cycle. This was one of my very first scents that I bought from L3. And I'm not a laundry fan, or as I said in my previous video, but this is a refreshing, just fresh, crisp, clean watermelon smell. I don't smell the sweet, sugary watermelon because of course it is mixed with Spin Cycle, which I don't know the notes of Spin Cycle. I think maybe in the future I will write down the scent notes if it's not already on the bag that I'm talking about, just because it gives you a little bit more information. Um, I would buy this again because it's not in your face, that unmistakable laundry smell that a lot of laundry scented wax takes on, I think. Um, I feel a lot of them smell the same. That's just my nose. But this one is a nice, clean, almost like fresh sheets mixed with a little bit of watermelon. Um, fruity, fruity laundry is nicer than just regular laundry, in my opinion. But the beauty with smell is we all smell different notes at different times and warmth brings on different, you know, accents of notes and stuff. So that's why I love watching all of your videos and just seeing, hey, I've had that scent. Hmm, that person smells this. I really smell this. I love that variety. And I'm, I follow a lot of you guys on, on YouTube here and I watch your videos and I really, really like that nose, uh, excuse me, smell is is so subjective and we all can smell the same thing but then have different interpretations of it and I just I love that um, a couple more L3s we have um, this was I actually got this in a mystery uh, a mystery bag it's one of the very first orders I made from Jen earlier this spring this is gingered bergamot black ginger bamboo ginger peach now I would probably not gravitate to this one if I didn't receive it in a mystery box but I love ginger I love peach I like bergamot this is a ginger peach I don't smell bergamot and I don't know what black ginger smells like <laughs> but uh, bamboo is a clean strong um, not botanical smell, but it's an earthy smell to my nose. Um, I like this one. This is, I'm not sure if I would buy this again, but I, I'm enjoying it now while I have it. And who knows? I've only melted this one time in a couple of my warmers. Uh, who knows? Maybe as time goes on, it might grow on me a little bit more. Um, those wild cards sometimes get you. Uh, one more of L3. Covered under the stairs, pink Frosted Animal Cookie. This is a beautiful blend. I think Covered Under the Stairs is a special blend of birthday cake, something that, uh, I'm, I, I apologize, I don't have the scent notes for this one, but I've seen many people enjoy this one. I would buy this again in a larger size. I think maybe a, I don't know if a loaf, it would be too much for me in this, maybe a, maybe a mini loaf, but this one is a nice one. It has that unmistakable scent of that um, animal cookie, the pink animal cookie. Um, I grew up with the, not the waxy 
pink and white with the sprinkles. I think it's Mother's brand animal cookies. I didn't like those. I liked the kind that had like a, a cinnamon cookie with a little bit of just that white dry frosting on the top. And I can't remember what brand used to make it, but I have a hard time finding them. They might not even be made anymore. Those are the ones that I think of. And this is what that smells like to me. Um, okay, next let's do, I have a couple from um, a vendor called Jim's Daughter Crafts. And I don't know if there's, if um, this is talked about very much because she has a smaller vendor. Her name's Michelle. She lives in Virginia. And she was one of the very first vendors that I ever got to know personally. I mean, over time, you get to know who the vendor is, uh, you know, who, whose company it is. Um, Michelle is very, very sweet and she's very nice. And like I said, um, She's from Virginia, and you should check out her website if you haven't already. She has a lot of cute shapes and whimsical things, nice blends, and she does customs, and she's just really, really nice. And I know I said in a previous video, I love zucchini bread. This guy right here, her plain zucchini bread, this is what really got me in the wax world, is this guy right here. Um... The notes on this one, and she has a little cutout circle on all of her bags or her bars or what you're buying that has the scent notes on it. Hand poured in Virginia. She uses Paris soy wax, and this is poured April 2nd. This is an old one, but it still has a lot of, a lot of strength going on it. This one is just spicy, nice zucchini bread, and I love it. I have another one of hers here, uh, Central Perk which is a blend of fresh brewed coffee and Old Town Bake Shop. I love coffee smells. I always have loved coffee. I was a barista back when I was in high school. I, I remember both my parents drank coffee and as a kid I said, ew, I'll never drink that. And my dad said, you'd be surprised uh, when you get older. And he was right, of course. Um, this one is just a nice coffee blend. It's not straight coffee. It has that old town bake shop, which is probably cookies. I don't know the notes of this one. Um, but this one, she actually, she does a lot of this with her uh, wax. This one is actually like a little, not a tart, but like a little, a little guy. And you can see she does put that coffee bean there and like a little cookie. She does a lot of art like this on her wax. And I really, really appreciate that. I haven't ordered from her in quite some time because I was on a no buy over the summer. One, because of heat. It was really, really, really hot here in Utah over the summer. And the couple of orders that I did make, some of them, uh, I never, I didn't have any wax casualties, of course, but I just didn't want to take the chance. I know it's humid in the east. I'm from the east. I know how it gets. And then just out here in Utah, the dry, hot heat, we were over 100 in even the beginning of June, and it usually doesn't hit 100 until closer to July. Uh, okay, a couple more here. Um, Rose Girls needs no introduction, but <laughs> this one's Fireside Cookies with Cream Cheese Frosting. Um, I think this is Cookies, Marshmallow Fireside, and Cream Cheese Frosting. This is delicious. I've seen this talked about in her group, in um, Jenny's group, many, many times. I never had an opportunity to grab it. It always sold out before, but this past time I was able to grab a few bags of it and it is nice. I think this is one that needs a little bit of extra curing just because I smell vanilla in it. And I know vanilla smells need a little bit of extra time to uh, really meet their, their max smell potential for lack of a better term. Um, next one, Carbs with Ghoul Friends. I know this is pumpkin sugar donuts and then her carbs blend, which is cookies. I think it's cookies, bread, and um, I can't remember. I'm sorry. I should write these down. Um, in the future, I will. This, I just smell pumpkin sugar donuts. That's all I really smell with this. I've worn this. When I warmed it, it doesn't really change that much to me on warm, but this is a relatively newer bag. I did get this at the last uh, ready to ship uh, sell of hers. I think it was in October. Well, yeah, it is. It was October. And maybe it just needs some more cure, more cure time, but I know this is one of her very popular scents, especially this time of year. So that one is a good one. Um, next one, Boo Spooky Castle. And this one, as you can see, has been well loved. I actually got this in a D stash earlier this year. This was offered in her most recent 
uh, Mario Mini Melters pre-order. Uh, I love this scent. This is, oh, it's, it's blueberry cereal, uh, which is blueberry and a blueberry bakery. And this is long lasting, delicious smelling, just, you know, want to lick the air. So good. I love this. It doesn't smell like cereal or, you know, some of the cereal brand blends is that unmistakable cereal scent. To me, this is a creamy, delicious, sweet blueberry smell. And if you love blueberry, um, this one, give it a try. Uh, my husband loves blueberries, so I tend to buy a lot of blueberry smells just so uh, he feels included. <laughs> but um, this one, I would definitely repurchase this one. And next, uh, this is Fat Wax. Um, this is a vendor from Texas. I've only ordered from her one time, and it was not the best experience, and I don't want to go into detail about it. Um, but I'm using what I have from this order, and then I'm not going to order again, uh, just for a couple of reasons. Um, this one here is the Amanda. It's tropical fruit, salty sea air, Caribbean coconut, amber romance, and vanilla bean. And to me, this doesn't smell like any of those things. This smells like plastic wax to me. I don't have fruity. I don't have salty sea air. I definitely don't have coconut. I, this is, I don't even know why I'm still using this. I think because I feel wasteful if I don't use it, but this was not impressive to me at all. Okay, let's move on. That was the end of my melting basket. Let's move on to my empties, which is so fun for me to go through these because I feel like this is pretty big for me for a week and I feel if I'm using this much then when I buy more it's not so bad <laughs> so I don't know how many of you are out there are like that too but it's so satisfying to see hey I'm using all this stuff all right so let's start with a couple of small ones um, I did change some wallflowers out in my house I do have um, one two three four five six seven I have seven uh, wallflowers going in my house at all times I changed a couple of them. Uh, the Perfect Autumn. I uh, The notes on here are fresh cranberry, spiced pumpkin, crisp apple. You know that quintessential fall smell. I put this in our bedroom. I can't smell it in our bedroom. Um, you know, wallflowers, in my opinion, over the last few years have really went downhill. They're not as strong as they used to be. This one, I love the smell. I have it in my I have it at my kitchen sink in the hand soap actually, and it's a beautiful smell. I love it. I love the candle. It's just the wallflower is falling short performance wise for me. The next one I put in my spare our uh, guest bathroom, which is right here next to me, uh, Mary Mimosa. Um, this one is surprisingly strong to me. It's uh, sparkling champagne. Red apple slices, ice sugar crystals. I'm not a t I'm not a uh, champagne toast fan. I don't think it's strong enough for me. Um, it's one of the most popular smells. I do know that, but this one is this. I when I do go in that bathroom, I do smell this. This is a nice one. I would repurchase this, Mary Mimosa, and I think it's out right now. It's the Christmas uh, holiday smell. So um oh, I also do have some retail wax. I'm going to be putting in my empties, you know, when I, when I upload this content, just because I do have a lot of retail wax. I used to buy retail wax before I found vendor wax, so I do use that up too. Uh, this is banana and pumpkin bread. These notes are pumpkin, honey, cinnamon, banana bread, brown sugar, vanilla bean, and caramel. This one I really liked. I would buy it again. It has that, I really smell banana bread. And I really smell um, caramel and butter too. Even though butter is not on here, this is very buttery to me, very sweet, and it's it's nice. If you've ever had banana bread smells, it's like this, but I don't get that straight up banana or the walnut that's in banana bread. This is a nice one. I do I do like this. I would buy this one again. Okay. Next, a couple of samples. Uh, this is L3, pink sugar, vanilla balsam, strawberry musk. This one wasn't bad. Um, I popped this in my office, uh, my work from home office, and it was nice. It had a, mo a medium, medium, moderate throw. I'm not so sure I would uh, buy this again. I, 
I'm not a fan of heavy strawberry smells just because, as I said, I feel that they um, can be a little weak, and I like a stronger smell. Uh, this one wasn't bad, though. I didn't get a lot of pink sugar. I got more balsam with strawberry, so strawberry pine. It was, it was a nice one. Um, I'm just not sure if I would repurchase it for me. Uh, okay. Let's see if I can do the, keep it, the vendors together here. Uh, okay. Um, this is L3 again, Hannibal. Hannibal is cranberry, apple cider, pecan glazed cookies. I loved this. I love cranberry. I'm really passionate about cranberry. Cranberry needs to be used way more often than it really is. And you don't have to just melt it in the fall. It's a all year smell. I mean, cranberries are fabulous. I know they're a fall harvest, uh, autumnal fruit, what have you, but I love it all year. It's so nice. This, I smell cranberry. I don't smell apple cider. I smell pecan, and it's pecan glazed cookies. Caramel pecan, I would definitely buy this again. I do have my customs with uh, L3 coming up. I'm thinking about adding this to my list, but I might not because I see it offered quite a bit in the fall, so might not do that, but it's a wonderful smell. Next is Lighthouse. This is one of her best sellers. It's sea air, white musk, lavender cashmere, amber, tonka, cedar, and plum. And she has on here amazing. And it is amazing. When I first melted this, I was like, eh, you know, it's okay. I put it back in my storage, let it cure for, I'm not kidding, maybe three or four months. And then when I was refilling my melting basket, because I, I have a, a basket I work out of that items I want to use now or seasonal ones. Even though I'm not really much of a seasonal melter, I melt whatever I want whenever I want. Um, life's too short not to do that. So um, this really, really turned more beautiful as the time went on. This is a aquatic smell that is creamy. It has tonka bean. I find I love tonka bean. I don't exactly know what a tonka bean is, but I know everything that it's in, I love. Um, I would definitely buy this in a loaf. It's a nice, clean scent, good for bathrooms, good for, you know, cleansing the nose. If you have had a lot of bakery or have had a lot of something, it's a nice transition into something else. I would definitely buy this in a larger scent. I love it. Good job, Jen, with this one. Let's see if I have any more L3 in here. Uh, yep, I have uh, one, one more. Okay, Ants Jam Filled Jelly Rolls. This is a favorite of my husband. Uh, this one is strawberry jam, whipped cream cheese, powdered sugar, and vanilla pound cake. This is delicious. It smells like strawberry jam, but it has that unmistakable smell of cream cheese. Uh, the bag is a little, um, it's a little lost its scent a little bit because it hasn't been in here for a little while, but. This is a good one. I have had several puppy packs of this, and I haven't had the opportunity to uh, buy a larger size of this, but I might buy this in a loaf next time I see it, just because it's a great smell. Got a little bit of powdered sugar, and mostly strawberry with cake. It's a nice one. Okay, let's do, let's do some Rose Girls next. Okay, uh, Beach Bonfire. Um, I bought this mistakenly. I didn't mean to hit this muffin, but I did, and it came in my box, and um, it didn't really smell like much to me. This is Campfire Marshmallow Vanilla Lace and Marshmallow Fireside. Um, this I use as a blender with some coffee scents. Um, I would not buy this again on its own. It's more of a blender, in my opinion. It's a weak marshmallow smell. Um, I could not smell this alone. I melted it alone. I always melt things alone first so I know what they're going to add if I mix with something. Um, this one I wouldn't buy again, but that's just my opinion. Um, this was a little sample that Jenny sent. This is Blackberry Rain. Um, sometimes my nose doesn't pick up Blackberry very much, but this was a nice clean smell. Um, I don't know if I would buy this just because, like I said, sometimes my nose picks up blackberry, sometimes it doesn't. Um, I know she had a rain sampler earlier this year. I didn't buy that. I'm, I'm not 
a fresh clean melter all the time i'm more bakery fruity bakery and fresh once in a while so i didn't want to buy the sampler with this in it but i know that blackberry is popular and i know the rain is popular too let's get a couple more out of here Woo. oh i have a couple more l3 i lied guys sorry i thought i had them all done uh, we'll finish Rose Girls and go back to L3. A Cider Lane. If you watched my very first video upload, you know I raved about Cider Lane. Cider Lane is, my nose smells caramel, apple, and cinnamon, and I love it. I burn this all year, I um, burn this in a candle, and I melt this all year round. I love Cider Lane. It's a very homey scent that, try it out if you haven't, it's wonderful. Still mad Bath & Body Works did not bring it back in a candle this year. But maybe next year. Here's hoping. Um, my heat just kicked on if you hear it in the background. Um, this one is candy corn, sweet pumpkin pie, vanilla uh, crunch donut. This one I was not impressed about. I picked it up just because it was right before Halloween. I thought it's a Halloween time smell. I love pumpkin pie. I would much rather this just be pumpkin pie, vanilla crunch donut. I feel the addition of candy corn. I'm not a fan of candy corn anyways. Um, this was, it was okay. I wouldn't buy this again just because it had a weird after smell, if that makes sense to me. Uh, I, I love pumpkin. I love pumpkin smells. I always will. Um, that one is just not, not my favorite. Um, this one is uh, Wicked Plumbers. This is from the Mario line. I got this in a D-stash, and the person I got it from actually wrote the notes on the back. It's birthday cake, lemon cheesecake, waffle cone, and carbs. Uh, this one wasn't bad. I love lemon also. I feel, I wish this was a, um, it had more throw. This is probably a medium throw for me. I really felt the waffle cone and lemon were the dominant notes to my nose in this one. I would buy it again, but... There's plenty more of her Mario line that I think I would enjoy more than this. But give it a try. If you like waffle cone and carb and birthday cake and lemon cheesecake, go for it. Give it a try. Okay, a couple more L3s. Season of the Witch. This was in her leaves sampler earlier this fall. Um, this is apples and leaves. I already reviewed this in the bakery bag. Wonderful, awesome. One of her top blends. Love it. And this one is, ooh, today is October 3rd, pumpkin pecan waffles. Now, pumpkin pecan waffles and I, when it first was released from Bath & Body Works, I thought it was so coyingly sweet and just not for me. I have since, I don't know how many years that's been out, but it hasn't, it wasn't just released last year. It's been one that's been out for a while. I love pumpkin pecan waffles. I'm not a maple fan, and luckily my nose doesn't smell maple anymore with PPW, but uh, mixed with today is October 3rd, which is Palo Santo or Palo Santo, I don't know how to say it, um, Palo Santo, Sugar Cookie Royale, and Toasted Mallow. I love today is October 3rd. If you have not tried it, give it a try. It's one of her top sellers all the time. Jen has it mixed with tons of different blends. It's, it's wonderful. This, I had Pumpkin Pecan Waffle Dominant, with just a hint of that, today is October 3rd. I love this. This is amazing. Great job on that one, Jen. Okay, let's see. I just have a few more in here. I don't want to make this video too long, but like I said, I had a lot of that I wanted to review. And I am new to YouTube, so I am <laughs> just going along as I'm going along. Okay, uh, Destination Wax. If you watched my first video, you saw that Destination Wax was my very first big vendor order back in January, New Year's Day. And I love Rebecca. She has some of the most amazing blends, and she also has single oil staples like pumpkin pecan waffles. This one is, her notes are pumpkin pecan waffles lightly sweetened with brown sugar and maple syrup. You can't go wrong with PPW. I love this. This is just it's great. I love it. I can't go into detail any more than that. If you've smelled it, you know what it smells like. I can't really 
I don't get pumpkin from it. I get butter, maple syrup, and waffle batter. That's what I get from it. This one is autumn. Uh, this is red apples, balsam fig, and eucalyptus, similar to BBW. Um, I like this one because I pick up a lot of the eucalyptus in this. For a long time, I couldn't smell eucalyptus after COVID. Um, in my previous video, I, I did have COVID earlier this year. Eucalyptus has since come back to me. Eucalyptus is strong. I know I couldn't smell it. I can now. I love this. Eucalyptus and apple. It's a nice one. This is, this is a staple. Great scent. Okay. I have a couple. Um, oh, here's one more Rose Girl sample. It's just blueberry muffin. It's just blueberry muffin. That's all I can all I can say. It's just a single oil, not a blend. It's not bad. I like it. I thought I wish it lasted longer. It only gave me about three hours, four hours maybe before it uh, weakened out. So that one I don't think I would buy again. But it's it's a great it's a great smell. There's just more out there for me that I'd like to try. Okay. Let's do, um, this next one is a small vendor. She's new to the vendor world. Her name is Gigi. She lives in Florida, and her company is called Gigi Scented Adventures. I don't know if you can see that. Um, yeah, Gigi, her name is Gisette Mason. She's from Florida. Sweetest, nicest lady. Um, I have a lot of stuff from her. I've been with her since she started her uh, wax group and her business and she is just great. She does a lot of single oils right now. She's getting into blending, but she has tons of oils. She opens up her mini loaves at the beginning of the month for a couple of days and then she always has her ready to ship two pack shapes ready to go. Um, the thing that sets Gigi apart from other vendors is she puts more fragrance load into her wax. She has high vaulted ceilings and she needed more. She was finding she was having to burn five and six candles at a time to scent her space. So she started learning how to make wax a few years ago and is getting all of her fragrance in one tiny package. So check her out. She has a Facebook group. Um, these are apple cider donut, which is apple cider donut. Um, I like this one. I wish it was a little bit stronger. Some of her, most of her scents are really strong. This one I felt could have been a little bit more, but it's a great one. It's a nice bakery apple. Uh, next, we have pumpkin crunch cake. This one I always love. Um, I don't, she doesn't have the notes on here. I saw uh, she recently posted that she's uploading a new, not uploading, she's making new labels that do have the scent notes listed on it, just because it's something that, you know, it's hard to remember all the different notes of uh, oils and blends if you don't work with them all the time. So she's adding um, them to her labels, but pumpkin crunch cake is a good one. I uh, can't go wrong with that. And then peanut butter cookies. I know peanut butter is hard in wax to get right. Um, this one, I didn't smell peanut butter. It's more a peanut cookie. I didn't get that creamy buttery part of it that you're supposed to. Um, this I would buy again though. I would try blending it with different things. This is a good one. Um, I have a couple um, that I had multiple uh, little little bags of, so I put them in a larger poly bag. Um, Gigi's banana walnut cake. This one is like banana nut bread to me. Nice bakery smell, that warm, cozy, those all those cozy spices. It's really, really good to me. Blueberry cobbler. I find this was really strong. It has that nice blueberry bakery scent that is so yummy. And then blackberry jam butter cookie. As I said earlier, blackberry and I, sometimes I can smell it, sometimes I can't. Um, this one smelled like berry. I wouldn't necessarily say it was blackberry, but had a berry component and then cookie. It was okay. Um, since, since blackberry jam and I aren't really friends all the time, I don't know if I would rebuy this, but it's a big seller of hers. Give it a try. Um, I have finished another fat wax. This is Mondo Pumpkin. I think this vendor, all of her, her best scents are mixed in to be a Mondo blend. This smelled like dough to me. 
uh, cookies, cookie dough, sugar cookie dough. I didn't get any pumpkin from this. It, my husband said it smells good in here. I didn't get pumpkin. I just got cookies, a bakery scent. And then finally, Sassy Girl Aroma. I love Sassy Girl Aroma. If I was hard pressed to pick my favorite vendor, I would probably pick, pick Julie's. Um, it performs consistently for me. I've only had a couple of blends in the hundreds of dollars that I've bought from her that fell flat. She throws well in my home. Her, her packaging, she since changed her labels. Her wax is beautifully presented. It comes beautifully packaged. This is Fall Bakery. Quintessential. Zucchini, cookies, apple, pumpkin pie. This is great. I would buy this again. I think this was in her most recent, not the one that's on right now, but the most recent last pre-order, Fall Bakery. If you haven't tried it, give it a try. It's so good. It's everything mixed together. Wonderful. But okay, everyone, that's all my empties and my melting basket for this week. I will try to accumulate more this coming week and post a new empties and melting basket video next week. So all right, everyone, have a good day. Talk to you soon. Bye.